All right, so down here at the uh, doe leaf boat ramp, the one I did a video of uh, a few weeks back, and I've had a lot of requests for um, how do we get in and out of there? And are we gonna be able to float? And are we gonna run aground? And all these questions. So right now, um, not a terribly great opportunity for demonstration uh, other than just being able to show how to navigate out of here because the water is, as you can see up along the dock, it's actually pretty dang um high right now. Um, but anyway, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you around how to get out of here. And this is the way I go out of here regardless of what level of water it is. So we've got, um, got a couple of these big poles here have danger signs on them uh, that's just to keep you out of getting into that really shallow water and uh, some mixed pilings uh, that are underneath the water uh, I always cut it right here right off the end of these poles here um, and that's probably about 10 feet of clearance there between me and the poles uh, and then just stay right off the end of these docks You'll see out here, there's some poles. Uh, once again, uh, that one used to have a danger sign, but it's not. That one, the danger sign is still there. Don't go outside of there because there are a lot of pilings um, that are all below water. Here, staying right here off the end of the, of the piers, or off the end of these old piers, round the corner here, and shoot between the red and green sign. Uh, there was a lot of stuff that was not marked before Daphne took over. Now they have it all marked and it's a uh, pretty easy navigation, no trouble. Um, now on a very low tide, uh, you're gonna have to have the motor trimmed up really high, um, just kind of idling out of here. And that's on a really low tide. But normal circumstances, you've got, um, but my fish finder, it shows about four and a half feet, which is probably pretty accurate for right now. It's a pretty soft bottom. And um, anyway, no, no, uh, no trouble getting in and out of here so far. Uh, this is actually the end of the no wake zone. Uh, it used to be right here at the corner, but since I got some folks sitting here fishing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna idle my way past them. There's no green sign here at the corner. I just uh, I, I just go within a few feet of the red sign and um, probably say within about 20 feet you should be good and get in between uh, the red and green sign and you're home free. Stick it really tight to the middle though. spot that is not properly marked they need another pole here and we need the pole that is there to have uh, to be the green sign and we need a red sign on the left over here because I always cut where I put the right the red sign to my right right through here go between it and land you can see we've got plenty of water right through here there's actually plenty of water immediately to the right side of that sign or the or the north side but in my opinion this is a much better route to go right through here uh, as you can see I'm within 20 feet of the grass 
and with plenty of water even on a even on a really low tide we've got plenty of water right here so from here same thing you give yourself about 20 feet of uh, distance off of the bank Once you get here to the to the red sign or the green, neither one of them you want to go. Do you want to go like hook a hard left or hook a hard right? I would say because you can see there's a looks like maybe a part of a treetop or something right there, uh, not far away. But the main river and uh, river current and everything is not going to be until you get out here to this first and second row of crab traps if there's no crab traps here i would say go at least 80 to 100 feet out from yeah maybe even maybe even 150 feet out from the last channel markers before you hook it left or right uh, from this point forward um, there's nothing, there's no navigation, signs, poles, or anything. So from this, from here you need to use caution if you've never been out here. Backwards way, wide open. So you come in here wide open. That's it my friends, it's that easy. So I started recording it right, right when we were entering the channel and it took me staying on, staying wide open all the way to no wake zone to the dock. Looks like it's gonna take me exactly, thir uh, exactly three minutes. So there you are, no problem. So that wraps it up on navigating through the Lake Forest Channel out to Blakely River.